here, it's here, here, here. Hey guys, it's LJ here. Welcome back to another video. I have a rather large box and a kitten. Hi. Hello. You can have the box once it's done, okay? You can have the box once it's done. It's, 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 it's here. It's a huge box. I can't actually zoom out my camera any further. It is a huge box. Um, and I'm well excited to open this one. It is going to be so much fun. So much fun. Right. Where are my scissors? Come here. Come and be cute while I open the box. There you go. Good girl. I'm going to be cute while I open the box. No. These scissors are not going to do what I want them to do. These ones will. Maybe not. Jeez. Really? Okay, fine. I'm going to have to resort to this. Come and be in camera rather than focusing on your treats. You're not getting treats right now. Monkey. Now she sits down in the middle of it. <sighs> Kitten, come on. I need to open the box. Sorry, sweetheart. Okay, so I'm going to push this over slightly to the side and we will see what we have inside here. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. It is. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Let me remove this large box, which I'm sure the cat will love to sit in because she loves boxes. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Okay, right. Grab myself one of these so that we can open this out. But I'm gonna do that last. I think. Yeah, I'm going to do that last. We'll start with this beautiful box. So it is Craft Box UK. As you can see, now it does, I believe, pull out sideways. It seems to. Come on. No. Come on. Yeah, it does. I'm just being weak. Apparently. Oh, blimey. This much, my hands are very sore today. There we go. So this is um, the box. Oh, I'm so excited by this. So excited. I'm gonna zoom you in just a touch. Just so that we can see what's in here. Oh look, it's so pretty. So we've got the craft box paper, we've got some of the, um, the, the crackle paper, we've got the nice, sticker says thank you for your order i'm going to attempt to take this off oh oh gosh okay i'm going to move this slightly further that way just so we have some room so first up are these gorgeous gorgeous flowers so we've got like the tans the creams the light blues the light greens and those leaves are gorgeous. I'm just going to keep moving them so that you can see all the flowers. I don't want to open the packet and lose them. How beautiful are they? Oh, love it. Right, let's move it over there. Then we have this bottle of gorgeousness. Look at the back. You can use these as well. <gasps> okay. Not today because my hands are so sore. <gasps> but I need to play with this very soon. Really need to play with this soon. So next we have this. 
Wonderland Apothecary Dullness Remedy. Use with caution. Extremely potent. Contents. The most sparkly of glitters. 20 grams. I mean, that is just gorgeous. And it's got a proper stopper on as well. <gasps> That's stunning. Oh, I love that. And I'm going to remove this. Because... Not only can you use the image, say, on the back, but on the front piece here, you've got another one and you've got writing. So you've actually got text from the story. You know what I'm like about anything with text on. I'm obsessed with anything with text on. Okay, next. Next we have a resealable bag. I like this choice of a resealable bag. So what do we have here? We've got two... Mixed media glossy paste, crushed mirror. Crushed mirror glossy paste. This paste is made to dry glossy and perfect to use straight through stencils or straight onto your project. So, ouch. <gasps> oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. You've got blue, silver, gold flecks in there. Hello, kitten. Could you not use the empty box that was on the floor for you that I put down there? Of course she couldn't because she needs to be in the video and I've not put that on straight for the third time there we go <laughs> okay and the second one we have is a matte mixed media paste matte duck egg blue this paste is made to dry matte it dries translucent as well oh, sorry this one dries clear so you'll just get the glittery bits <gasps> Oh look, there's, there's holographic glitter as well. And then this one dries translucent, so you'll get this light blue matte. Oh, that is gorgeous. <gasps> Ooh! Loving it. And I love that it comes in a resealable bag. So you can seal the pots up. If they don't close completely, you've got the extra seal on the bag. Love it. Next we have some, <gasps> oh, some gorgeous ephemera pieces. Now, I'd have, I haven't mentioned this, but Craftbox have changed what they're doing now. Rather than doing a monthly small box, just to compare the size. This was the standard box. So it's sort of like hot, twice the size of the standard boxes that they used to do. Um, they're now doing larger boxes, I think three or four times a year, um, with different themes. And so I didn't get the spring one. The spring one was very florals, and I have a lot of floral-based stuff. But I love the Alice in Wonderland-themed things, so that's why I got this one. So let's take a look at our ephemera pieces. We have... We've got the White Rabbit. We've got Alice with all of the animals. We have Alice with the Drink Me bottle. <gasps> We've got the Jabberwocky poem. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit excited. Uh, we've got a glossy blue foil. There we go, not glossy. A blue foiled version of Alice with the Drink Me. We have the Mad Hatter's with his tea. We have the cat. We have... Um, Queen Alice at her door. We have the Queen of Hearts blue foiled card. I'm loving the foiled ones. Uh, I'm not crazy, my reality is just different to yours. Quote by the Cheshire Cat in that nice foil blue. We're all mad here. Foiled blue. We have this large blue floral piece, which is gorgeous. A couple of smaller blue floral pieces. Uh, got some... No, this this is in my garden. Hydrangea. Sorry, that had to do my brain for a second. We have a blue rose. We've got a few more little blue floral pieces. We've got this gorgeous corner piece. Oh, that's lovely. Love that one. We then have Alice in the chair. We have the white rabbit in his suit. We've got the pocket watch in the blue foil. 
we've got a leaf and then a white rose then we have the large alice the match march hair and the mad hatter at the table we've got alice with the um words tied up words sorry brain it will come to me we then have this lovely large piece of alice with the cheshire cat we then have the mad hatter alone and we have a very tall stretched out alice these are awesome oh i'm so excited yeah i bought this one because you know i love alice they did a very they did a th they did an alice themed box a while ago um and i can't remember if it's exactly the same style as this i'm hoping that it is because i still have parts from that box um and it would be great to do like a big alice in wonderland album with all of this stuff that's what i want to do that's why I bought the big, big Alice box because I thought there's going to be loads in here for me to do an album with, which is going to be awesome sauce. Next one. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Now these are definitely similar to the ones we got before. Um, <gasps> look at the charms. So we've got a couple of Alice's, one in black dress, one in a green dress. We've got an Alice head with the blue shoulder, the white rabbit in a yellow coat. We've got the pink clock with Alice in the centre and the green clock with Alice in the centre. Then we have a black oval clock, a white clock, a white clock and a um, almost like a watch because it's got the dial up thing on the side or a pocket watch. We've got the flamingo, we've got the white rabbit, we've got a gorgeous little cat with a bow, teapot and two keys. They're stunning. Yes. Oh, craft box. I love you. Which is odd. What do we have next? We have... I'm going to grab all of these out. So we have this wood... Snip art wood piece. Uh, the laser cut wood piece that's got like the branches and things on. And the suits. So you've got diamonds, hearts, spades and clubs there. Kitten, what are you doing? We have this gorgeous snip art piece with the clock and the chains and the numbers and Alice. We have another one with Alice sitting down. So rather than having her stood up, we have her sitting down. So they're very similar, but they are different. They are beautiful. And then we have a stencil, which is a, st oh, a text stencil. Uh, you're mad, bonkers, completely off your head, but I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are. That's going on the cover of my album. Okay, we have, oh, we have a stamp set. We have a gorgeous stamp set. So, we have the same quote, entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are. We have, it's no use going back to yesterday. I was a different person then, but Alice, I'm not crazy. My reality is just different to yours, Cheshire Cat. Then we have Alice the White Rabbit in his um, heart get up and then the White Rabbit in the suit get up. Uh, would you please tell me which way I ought to go from here? That depends a good deal on where you want to go, said the cat. And then <laughs> we have another text piece. This is going to make an amazing album. Then we have quite a lot of paper. I'm going to start with a little one. So we have three by four journaling cards. Oh my gosh. Three each of ten designs. So we have this little one with Alice and the flamingo. Then we've got Alice sat on some flowers. Then we have the white rabbit. Hello, my kitten. And then we have the pocket watch with some florals. The queen. We have the Alice with one of the characters. We have the Cheshire Cat up in the top corner. I like that he's up in the top corner. That's really cute. We've got the Mad Hatter at the table with his tea. 
We've got um, Aslan on the mushroom with Alice. And then we are back to the beginning. How beautiful are they? Okay, next we have some four by six journaling cards. Seven designs, 30 double-sided pages. Of course she wants to get in that box because there's still stuff in it. So, chill. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So yeah, these are the 4x6 journaling cards. So we've got the Alice at the table, which, oh my gosh, on the back has her at the door with the Cheshire Cat and the text. We've got Alice with the Mad Hatter and has the same design on the back. Oh, I like they all have that design on the back so far. Uh, Alice and the Cheshire Cat with the white rabbit in the opposite corner. I like that you've got the green on this side and then the blues. That's a nice division. Same on the back. Then we've got Alice with the egg. Alice and the deer with um, a little bit more text of the story, which is really cute. Uh, some more text. We've got Alice. With, I love the chandelier in this one. Oh, and the flamingo. Then we've got the Mad Hatter's tea party with the um, cups of tea, the teapots, the mouse, everything on there. Now Alice with the Mad Hatter we've seen, was that the first one? No. Ah, that was the first one. So is that seven? What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder what the seventh one is then. Seven designs. Hmm. I'm just gonna have a quick flick through and see if there's an extra design anywhere. No, they all seem to be the same. Perhaps I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. I mean brain, ignore my brain. Then we have this 8x8 scrapbooking paper. So, what, hold on, what is this? Uh, 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 190 GSM, 20 double sided sheets, 14 designs. So, we have this beautiful one with the deer and the text. I love that it has all the text in it. It just it makes my heart happy with the sort of like textured wallpaper on the back. Then we have the same one with Alice and the Cheshire Cat and our white rabbit in the corner with beautiful hydrangeas on the back. Then we've got Alice with the egg and on the back is this print, it's beautiful. Alice with the Mad Hatter and on the back is, there you go, Alice and the Cat with the text. We've got the tea party. And on the back of that is this, oh wow, that wreath is gorgeous. <gasps> That's stunning. Oh, I love that. That's really pretty. Uh, then we have Alice in the ballroom with the chandelier. And on the back, oh look at the back. The back is just pure text. That's gorgeous. Okay, so then we are back to Alice. So what's that? 14 designs, so that's seven. So... Two, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, and there must be something I haven't seen yet. Here we go at the back. There we go. So they've repeated, and then at the back we have these four by four cut parts. How beautiful are they? And on the back is just a plain piece, and then on this one for more little cut parts. Oh, you got the small wreath. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I love the small wreath. And then on the back is that. How gorgeous is that lot? Okay, so that's what came in the box. Now, we also have the 12 by 12. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep all of the paper piece pieces out, because I'll show you how I store my, my bits and pieces. We'll put those two on the side. So now we have the 12 by 12, which I'm going to very carefully open. 
on the back so that I don't destroy any of the papers. Oh, look at it. It is stunning. I have to zoom you out, aren't I, so you can see it a bit more. Whoops, wrong way. Okay. So this is 12 by 12, 12 designs, 12 double sided sheets, 250 GSMs. So this is a much thicker. The other one was 190. Yep, yeah, and this is 250. So, there's our front cover. So again, we have the same sort of image. It's just a much bigger, more detailed piece. Well, not more detailed, but you can see more of the detail is what I mean. <laughs> um, I'm going to pull you slightly this way because then on the back we've got this. Oh, you can see that so much better in the 12 by 12. It's beautiful. And again, the same image, Alice and the cat with the rabbit. And the hydrangea on the back are beautiful. Then we have this one. Oh, I didn't realise that it said inspire down at the bottom. That's really cute. Um, and we've got the variety of different florals. So you could imagine this is a page. And on top of these, you could add texture and add more florals. It would look really, really pretty. There's that pattern on the back. Again, with our Mad Hatter and Alice. And then, oh, I love that image. I just love that image so much. I love it. Um, the tea party. And that wreath is gorgeous. It's just, I love it. I love it. The one inside. That one with the text on. And then we repeat. Go through them all again. Try and keep these as neat as I can. Okay. Oh, there we go. That would help if I read, wouldn't it? It was ten. It was twelve sheets, twelve designs. Yeah. <laughs> um. So they're really, really pretty. So they are the same as these. We just have them in the larger size, which is beautiful. And then we also have the four by six journaling cards and the three by four. I mean, that is going to make the most gorgeous album ever so i have these these are record sleeves and they perfectly fit 12 by 12 papers in this is how i store my 12 by 12 papers because then i can store all the off cuts and any other bits and pieces with them so in here i'm also going to put the 8 by 8 i'm going to put the 4 by 6 and i'm going to put the 3 by 4 so now all of my vintage Alish, Alish? Alice papers are together. I mean, I am in love with this. In love with this. This is amazing. I love this. I can't wait. I'm making an album. I'm making an Alice album. It's going to be amazing. Oh, so many goodies. Oh, craft box again. I say this every time I open a craft box. You have outdone yourself. Like, I was kind of sad when they changed from the monthly boxes because I really enjoyed getting something every month. Um, but once I realised what they were doing and how they were going to do it, I was like, yeah, that's that's amazing. Um, and I'm so glad I got this one. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Awesome sauce. Right. I will be making an album out of this. Um, it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to make this album. There's going to be enough. I've got an 8 by 8 12 by 12 and these. There's going to be more than enough to do extra projects as well. So, um, you know, if you think I've got the stamps and all the other bits and pieces as well. And all of the packaging, because don't forget that packaging has stuff on you can use. Um, oh, yes, I love it. Okay. If you have liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see the album, please let me know down in the comments. Um, and any other projects you think that would be cute from this there are a lot of charms so i'm considering making some jewelry as well perhaps um oh i'm so excited right i'm gonna calm down i am gonna say goodbye and uh, i'm gonna start processing how i'm making this album but yeah thank you craft box thank you guys very much for spending time with me today guys keep crafting and i'll see you all soon